Hi, hello! Welcome back to my channel. What's up? How you guys doing? I don't know what just happened with my intro. For today's video, this is so dirty. For today's video, uh, we are going to be doing something that I plan uh, on doing. I want to do it twice a month, um, so maybe I'll film a video each time I do it. Uh, I feel like once a week right now is a little bit too much to ask just with how busy I am, but I'm trying to be more aware of like what I can achieve, and so what I want to start doing is de-stashing a specific area of my house or my stuff uh, twice a month. To start 2020, <laughs> I want to de-stash my makeup. Uh, guys. <laughs> I have so much makeup, it's not even funny. <laughs> There's a lot. This is the desk, right? So this is already like a gross mess. Then we come to the drawers, which are also dirty and I'm going to have to clean. So drawer number one. This goes really far back too. I mean, this is just, that's the first drawer. This is the second drawer. All right, third drawer, a lot of lipsticks. Fourth drawer, we're starting to get into the stuff that I don't really touch. And the last drawer, which is makeup bags, but there is other makeup down there and I can't even pull it out. The crazy part is that like, I don't have like a makeup spending problem. Um, <laughs> some of you who know me might be scoffing and laughing right now, but truly I don't. I have a problem with never throwing makeup away. And that's kind of gross because <laughs> makeup has expirations, guys. Can guarantee there's probably makeup in here that I've had for five years, if not more. Um, so what I wanted to do was be more conscious about what I'm actually using. I want to get rid of makeup that is expired and uh, kind of organize a little bit better because I don't know if you can see right here. This is all a mess, by the way. Hi, welcome to my desk. But I want to be a bit more organized and conscious about what I'm doing. So that's what we're doing today. <laughs> Plan of action. Uh, first and foremost, I think what I want to do, because this is already dirty and I don't want to start cleaning the table until I've gone through the drawers. Uh, so the drawers... <laughs> The drawers are so dirty too. So I think the best course of action is to literally just start putting stuff, taking stuff out of the drawers onto the counter. Let's do it. That's a dead bug. There's a dead bug in here. Ah, this is so gross. There's a dead bug in here! Why? You guys, there's a dead bug in the drawer! Guys, this is obscene. The <laughs> what the hell is wrong with me? Okay, so this is like stacked deep. Do you see this? Look at this. Look at this. What? Why? Why does one person have this much stuff? I don't even know what to say other than... Let's get to work, because this is insane. I ran downstairs to get paper towels and cleaner, and while I was downstairs, I decided to look in my purse and found more stuff, so. Add it in. Okay, so here's my game plan. This box I'm gonna use for things that I can uh, sell or give away, things that are like either not opened or um, never been used, so that is what this will be for. The majority of the stuff, is going to end up going in the trash bag because a lot of this stuff has been used and is old and I do not feel comfortable giving it away uh, or using it myself so it's just going into the trash so I don't even know where to start I guess I should probably start by cleaning out the drawers because we're gonna be putting stuff back into the drawers so I can't believe I mean I guess when I think about it I haven't gone through this stuff since I put it in here two years ago when we moved into the house and I've just done nothing but add to the stuff. So it makes sense. I've never done a makeup de-stash before. I did a video a couple years ago, but the video was about like what makeup brands I had 
uh, that tested it on animals, so I knew what to not buy anymore. I bet you I still have some of that makeup from that video. <laughs> All right, so this drawer is clean, and I know this drawer had this friend in there. Oh, okay. It only goes that way. All right. Okay, so... <sighs> I feel like the top drawer should be stuff that I uh, use every single day. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is put like my everyday items in the top drawer. Palettes should probably go in a different drawer because there are certain palettes I use daily, but I do like to rotate through them pretty frequently. So I think in here should be stuff that I utilize a lot. Something else I need to determine, uh, I have a bunch of these drawers but they're not really usable inside of these. Like I put them in there and I, I've never, I haven't taken stuff out of here since I put them in there. So I'm wondering if I should put these back on the countertop. Cause I feel like they're, oh, I'm only gonna use these if I have them on the countertop. But then also maybe I don't need them at all. I don't know. All right, let's figure this out. <sighs> I really don't know where to start. This is overwhelming. Okay, um, you know what? I'm just gonna start grabbing so first and foremost i know that i'm never going to use this sample card i'm never going to use this sample card two things down i use this offers in pompano that's really close to my house <laughs> okay i use this and i don't see a uh expiration on it so i'm gonna keep this because i do actually use this for touch-ups um this however I can tell you right now I haven't used in a long time and it says 12 months so goodbye. Alright so I actually don't use any ColourPop makeup anymore. It's nothing against ColourPop. I just I've bought a lot more makeup. ColourPop was what initially got me into like I almost want to say craft makeup. <laughs> makeup that you wouldn't find at like a, a drugstore. Uh, but ColourPop is what kind of launched my makeup obsession. So it's I have a lot of it because I started with it, but I don't use it anymore. This doesn't have an expiration on it, but I feel like there is an expiration. Um, I'm gonna throw it away just because I don't use it anymore at all. Okay, so I know for a fact that this Marc Jacobs is old. I haven't used it in a long time. I'm pretty sure that most liquid foundations have like a six to 12 month shelf life, so goodbye. Okay, so these shadows, the Buxoms, I've never used. They have never been open, um, so I know that they're okay to keep and either um, sell or give away. I'll probably give them away, but these are, have just been sitting in the drawer. I re received them from Buxom in like a, a PR package, um, and I never opened them. So I am going to put that in the box. The reason that I've never opened this chapstick is because it's tinted red. So that's gonna be a giveaway because I will never use it. So this is a NARS blush. Um, this has a 24 months, so two year uh, use on it. I know I've had it for two years, but I also don't use it super frequently. So I think I will actually keep this because when I use blush, I do like this color. I also have a lot of products that I've purchased when they're on sale uh, and then I just hang on to them until I run out. So um, because I have a few like that, I'm just gonna kind of set them to the side for now. Like this. Oh my God, earthquake, okay. This is a cleanser that I received from Ola Hendrickson um, as a PR item and I've never used it. It's never been open. It's never even come out of the box, but I think I'm going to uh, put it in the giveaway pile because it's still good. I've never used it, but I, I know I will not use it because I have a very specific routine for taking off my makeup. Okay, so uh, no. Okay, what's happening? Oh, stop, please. Okay, pause. Freeze. Freeze. Okay, I can't. I dropped. Oh! <laughs> this is a nightmare. Someone help. Send help. What do I do? Who who sent you? Okay. <laughs> All right. These Empress tips these right here was an hello please these were another PR item that was sent to me they are um, essentially press-on nails but they last for up to I believe it was two two weeks um, one is in Tiffany blue and one is like a literal mirror I also have these ones um, that are like an oil slick one never use them because I actually get my nails done every two weeks with a friend of mine who actually like does my nails. Um, so I'll never end up using these. So these ones are probably gonna be maybe like a giveaway. This is definitely 12 months. Yeah, this is done for. 
oh my god it's like ripped and like essentially empty anyway why do I even have this so these I know this looks weird but I have six empty Mac items because Mac will actually give you a free item when you turn in empties um, so I've had these empties for so long I feel like I just need to bite the bullet and go and do it so I'm gonna put those to the side and if I don't do it by like the end of this week I'm just gonna toss them. I guess since this keeps falling on me, let's just go through this now. All right, so we have some ColourPop stuff. This is, I don't think I've ever used, no, I have used it. Okay, so this is a cream gel liner in like a silver. This one's never been used. So I will, uh, I'll put that in the giveaway pile. Um, also, never been opened again. This is like even still sealed, like in plastic wrap. It's just like a, oh, it's purple. Too Faced Bulletproof, yeah, Too Faced, you are Too Faced, so no thank you. A lot of these are sealed because I don't use, um, like, pencil liners ever. Um, well, I shouldn't say ever, I don't use them anymore. Okay, so this was Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This has definitely been used, and I am not, six months, I'm not putting that on my face. Yeah, I get weird about, do they expire? I guess technically you can just, like, um... <laughs> sharpen them and it's fine. Uh, so I'll keep this one. I do like the color of that. It's like a Slytherin green and I forgot I actually had it. Oh, it's clear. All right, so I'll, I'll keep that because I can sharpen that. Is that a lip pencil? Yeah, it is, okay. <laughs> I don't want it for my eyes. Okay, so. I'm still working on stuff. I'm. It's probably been about 45 minutes since I uh, turned off my camera, but I wanted to show you guys. This is why, I'm gonna zoom in really close here. This is why you do not keep lipsticks that are expired. I don't know if you can see on there that there's like stuff growing on the outside of the lipstick. This lipstick I have not used in, I don't know, maybe four years. So here's one where you can kind of see it a little better. See it in the light. Okay, now that one is not, still not even the worst one. This is the worst one. This one is by far the worst one. It has stuff growing all over it. That is why, my friends, we throw out makeup. Also, sorry about Luna. Uh, just also, FYI, that pink one that had all the stuff growing on it, that is from the Lady Gaga collection that came out years ago, like when she first got famous, so that's how long. I've had that makeup! Okay, what I'm doing at this point is I'm gonna use the second drawer for my palettes because I have so many, so Here's the thing, I use all of these palettes pretty religiously. I even have like an extra of the Soft Glam because it's my favorite palette and it is getting low. Um, so when I do get through that, but like I use, there's not a single palette that I own that I don't use, but I think what I'm going to do is put the palettes that I use less more towards the back. Um, so like Androgyny, I use it pretty frequently, but I think because it's not like an everyday palette, it's going towards the back. Same with blood sugar. This one I've actually barely touched, but I do use it uh, a lot for the lighter colors um, and then sometimes the deeper reds, but um, it's just not like an, I guess I shouldn't say it's not an everyday palette because my thing is I wear a lot of uh, reds every day. I'm wearing red right now on my eyes. So um, I do a lot of like berry tones, but like for instance, this Naked, I've had it for, I don't know, seven, eight years. And I think you're supposed to throw these out after, I, I think it's like 12 or 24 months. But the thing is, I use these still, which I probably shouldn't, but I do still use them. Now, you know what? I think I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the plunge and I'm going to throw them away because they are not my go-to palettes anymore. Um, I don't use them super frequently. I use them sometimes, but not all the time. And I feel like I should just get them out of my life. I'm not using them to their full potential. So... Goodbye. So this is the Kylie, I actually haven't used this in a while. Uh, so this was 24 months. So I bought this probably about three or four years ago, but I don't use it super frequently. I'll hang on to it for now, um, but it's very possible that it'll end up in the trash later. So this Avent Pop one, I use it only for like the fun colors and it's super every once in a while. So this is trash, goodbye. So see, this is my soft glam, um, as you can see. I've hit pan on a lot of them. This is pretty much my daily palette. So um, I'm going to keep this one obviously and I even have a backup for when I run out because it's my favorite and I got it like, I don't know, during the holidays they did some sort of sale. 
If you couldn't tell, Anastasia is definitely my favorite uh, maker of palettes, so I have a lot of them. Um, this one I use pretty frequently as well. I've hit pan on a few of those. And then I think the last Anastasia that I have right now is the Norvina palette. I haven't bought a lot of their newer ones because um, I just, I've been trying to not buy as much makeup. If you can't tell, I have uh, a lot already. And how many colors can you realistically have before it's too much? So this Too Faced blush, and see it's so old that it's like gone. This is one of the first makeup products that I ever purchased. At least eight years old. We're gonna toss it. A, because I don't support Too Faced anymore, and B, I don't wear blush often, and I'm keeping the NARS one, that's all I need. This is my Makeup Geek um, Manny MUA palette. I do use this one pretty frequently, so I'm gonna hang on to it. Graveyard Girls Swamp Queen. I don't use this very often, so I'll hang on to it for now. I do like that palette. All right, so the Huda Beauty. I actually just bought this about six months ago because this was what I used for my wedding. It has a 12-month expiry, 12-month expiry period, but, um, ooh, girl. I use this one at least once a week, if not twice a week, um, and it is the palette I used for my wedding. So my wedding makeup was done with that palette. This palette, I use probably once a week as well, the Morphe Jeffree Star palette. The colors are just really fun, so I like to work with um, these colors specifically. But this, well, I just bought this. I bought it on my honeymoon, so it's very new. I barely use this one, but the colors are really nice. Have never had like super, um, super good luck with Tarte palettes. Like their, their eyeshadows just don't take to my skin, I guess. Like, it just they never look as good as they can. So, so I am gonna toss this one just because I don't wanna keep something that I'm not gonna use. I have this palette, it's the Rainforest of the Sea one. I've used it a few times, but the colors are beautiful and it's like the perfect scheme for what I like, but unfortunately, the colors just don't look good on my face. This was the uh, Ariel Part of Your World eyeshadow palette. I don't remember who made this. Was it MAC? So this Buxom palette is actually the one where I got um, all of the other loose ones that you saw. Like this comes out and you can actually change out the colors to make like a custom palette. Um, I've only used this one a handful of times, but I don't use it enough to warrant keeping it. So I know this isn't um, eyes right now, but I haven't touched this My Sculpted Face. Uh, it even still has like the thing on it. I haven't touched this uh, in a very long time, so I am just gonna toss this. Same with the Park Avenue Princess from Tarte. I just, Tarte was like my go-to for a long time. I almost like killed this palette, um, but I don't wear it anymore because I've just, I've expanded my knowledge of makeup. Uh, I think I used it just to swatch, and actually, remember when I mentioned the video that I made? MAC is not cruelty-free. Um, so I put a little sticker to know that. But the thing is I don't wear these colors. They just don't look good with like my face. Um, so I kept it just to keep it, but I think it's time to let it go. Okay, so again, we have a Too Faced product, the Candlelight. I almost hit pan on this. This is old, back when I used to still buy Too Faced, so that's trash. <sighs> it gets a little easier. Like the, the further along you get, it does get a little easier. Okay, so I actually do still use this. Um, this is the Tarte Skin Twinkle Volume 2. It says one year, but, um, it's going on my cheeks, so like I'm a little bit like, I, I'm more weary, especially about eye products that are expired. Um, like eye products by far are like what scare me the most. Lip products too, but um, if it's like face, I'm a little bit more okay with it, as long as it's not a liquid. Because if it's liquid foundation that's expired, that's when I start to get nervous. But um, Okay, so this is an Anastasia palette of highlighters. I am absolutely keeping this. When I went to visit Sanders and we went to iMats, and this was the very last one, I walked up to the Anastasia booth and I'm like, do you still have Moonchild? Because it was right when it came out. And they're like, yeah, we have one left. And as she handed it to me, a lady behind me was like, hi, I need a moon child. She's like, oh, she just bought the last one. And the shade that I got from that lady, ooh, but I got it. All right, so then we come to the coveted mini controversy. This has been uh, pretty much my daily palette lately. I use mini controversy and conspiracy almost daily um, in conjunction with my Anastasia. When I do makeup looks, I like to combine palettes, so I don't just stick to one, but um, yeah, these are my, my babies, and they are not going anywhere. I don't know how to make it fit. That's what she said. She keeps saying it! So, let's see. I have mint condition. I have... Oh, I also have my Kat Von D highlight palette that I love very much. This is my Supreme Frost. This is pretty much my daily right now. Um, okay, Peach Goddess. 
the one that shattered. I kept it because I wasn't going to give it as a gift. It was supposed to be a gift, and I was like, no. Ice cold. So then I also have these, the Becca's, Becca Cosmetics. They're good for two years. I use, I do not, as you can tell, I do not use the blush because what, who uses that? It's too much. But I use the highlights on these because the, the highlights are beautiful. So I think I am going to keep these just because I use the highlights. Oh, we're almost there, you guys. Okay, so, <laughs> all right, so we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Huh, like I even have like an extra case. Like this is extra now, um, which is awesome. So I am going to keep that down just in the bottom drawer. Um, just as like an extra little, you know, container for whatever might arise. Do you like my little fun mugs that I use for makeup stuff? I have a Jabba one and I have a Luna one. Okay, so let's go through this stuff. This Ready Set Radiant uh, Skin Mist, literally haven't used it uh, in a really long time. It's like I've used some of it, but not enough to warrant continue having it. This Marc Jacobs, uh, so this is uh, the face primer that I bought when I bought the Marc Jacobs uh stuff that I threw away. So this is trash because there's no point in keeping it. Um, this is still okay. I hate to say this. Okay, so after I just went on a whole tirade this entire video of how I don't support Too Faced, when I first moved to where I'm at, and like obviously if you guys have seen my videos, you know like the issues we had with moving in, I needed a foundation quick and uh, this one was on sale and I was low on money and it was on sale at Ulta so I bought it and I'm not proud of it but it's still okay. This Bioderma I got quite a while ago and it says it's only good for nine months so I'm gonna toss that. I don't really use it very much anymore. Okay, so my other camera, the card is full. <laughs> so I've given up. Um, Tossing this, I use these sprays depending on like what look I'm looking for. One's long lasting and one's oil control, so I, I still use those. And then these I'm almost done with. I do still use these every day. Once they're done, I'll just toss them, but that's good. So now I just have to go through these things. Uh, well, I mean, these are, these are I'm keeping. These are my dailies. Uh, I have to go through the brushes because I feel like I don't use all of these brushes and some of them are very dirty and I gotta figure it out. Okay, so I figured if I'm going through the brushes and throwing out some anyway, uh, excuse the mess. I am going to just clean them because uh, they're dirty. Okay, check it. We're getting there. I just gotta wipe the countertop now. So that is a box of donation. That is trash. I just finished cleaning. Hi, Lynn. I just finished cleaning all of my brushes. They're drying, but not in a pretty way. Luna's being crazy. So now I'm just going to clean this off and I'll be done. Okay, so my brushes are drying, but this is essentially uh, where we're at. This is the mirror that I use when I'm doing like my uh, eye makeup. So uh, obviously this would normally be turned on while I'm doing my makeup, but the lighting is weird for the video, so I'm gonna keep it off. Um, so I put my setting sprays here. I have just some of my everyday products. The brushes will go here and here. Uh, once they're done drying, they are drying right now. I have just my everyday use products for a foundation. I put some of my favorite Jeffree Star lipsticks out that I use almost every day. Um, these are like my go-to colors. Um, in here, I haven't decided if I'm just gonna actually go put this downstairs and use it for coffee or what. And then of course, my Jeffree candle available in my shop, www.thealteregos.com. Uh, so here, let's take a look at the drawers. So, this is where we're at. Uh, that's a lot less than I had. So, up here I put like my everyday use products, so pretty much I'll do my makeup and then this is the first drawer that I open just to get everything, you know, started on my face. Um, so I have my highlights back here, my everyday highlight here, and then just some of my daily products that I use. The second drawer are all my palettes that I'm still keeping. So I have everything in here nicely organized. Um, they go all the way back. So I got rid of actually a lot of palettes. I know this still looks like a lot, but I really did get rid of a lot of things. Down here, so this is what we consolidated. This whole drawer was full of lipsticks earlier. Consolidated, Jeffree lipsticks in these two, the other lipsticks that I'm keeping in here. And then back here I have my glitter products and then some of the lip uh, pencil products that I'm keeping. Down here, this is that one drawer that I told you were things that like either I have extras of that I'm waiting to use. Uh, I put all of my lashes in or 
And this, I just don't want to get rid of them yet because I do utilize them sometimes. Not all the time, but I'm not ready to get rid of these pigments down here. Um, so I have those all back there. And then, are you ready for this? Completely empty. I have an empty clear case and I have just my makeup bags down here for travel, but can you believe it? Can you believe it, Luna? Can you believe it? All of this is either going to be given to friends and family who want it, and if they don't want it, then it's going in the trash, unless it's brand new, in which I'll donate it. And then down here is the full bag of trash. By the way, that's not a conspiracy pal, it's just the box, but um, that's a full bag of trash down there, guys. We got rid of a ton of things. So thank you so much for sticking with me this long, for watching this video. Uh, leave a comment down below and tell me what you think I should de-stash next. There is literally nothing off the table. I'm open to going through clothes, uh, through kitchen stuff, through just like random tchotchkes, through my crafting stuff. There's a lot of things. So uh, let me know what you'd like to see if you're interested in seeing this type of content. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in a few days with another video. Bye guys.